Hey, everybody. Hope you had a good week. Another crazy week in the markets with the Russia and Ukraine tensions and uh, margin calls and elevators, different big things going on. So I will touch about that. Um, but first, December 22, corn was up 49 cents per bushel. In November 22, soybeans was up 20, or excuse me, 35 cents per bushel this past week. Soybeans closed the week at 1447. And like I mentioned last week, the first thing to initiate a possible bottom was uh, regaining the 20 and nine day moving averages. And so we did that. And they are good support levels in the short term. Strength and momentum indicators are looking just a little bit weak, um, but price is consolidating uh, nicely at these support levels. So that is healthy and is actually much needed to continue to see this market move higher after that parabolic run up last month. Support is at 1444 on the November and resistance is at uh, 1485. Manage money is net long 175,000 contracts. So through last Tuesday, they sold 5,000 contracts. Corn closed on Friday at $6.29. Uh, really recovered nicely this past week as well, uh, even more so than beans did. Friday, we did touch the previous high at 646. We did sell off pretty sharply after that, but the momentum and strength indicators are looking really good and actually have more room to run higher. So corn is looking bullish. Uh, we did recapture the 20 and nine day moving averages. So that's very healthy. Support is now at 609 on the December and then 598. Resistance is at 630 and then 647, which is the contract high that was set yesterday. Manage money uh, is net long 349,000 contracts. They has, did as well sell 5,000 contracts through this past Tuesday. General updates. So a lot of information again this week. Uh, to start, Russia was cut off from SWIFT on Monday, which is essentially halting exports uh, for grain from Russia. There are also serious doubts that Russia and Ukraine will be able to uh, fulfill their export contracts for corn and wheat. Russia has been targeting Odessa in Ukraine, which is essentially comparable to New Orleans and that port in the United States. Um, so the infrastructure has been damaged. And even if the war to, was to stop today, it would take at least 30 to 60 days to get everything ready to back up and running for exports to uh, leave the country. Crude oil finished the week at $115 a barrel, which uh, is a seven year high. I know ga local gasoline prices have gone sky high as well. Um, commodities, precious metals, and energies continue to march higher through this time frame um, until the shooting stops. I really expect these three assets to continue to do well in the markets. Wheat was limit up on Wednesday and Thursday and up a lot on Friday as well. And this did cause some margin calls in elevators. So the story behind this as an example is when, ele when elevators buy physical bushels from a producer, they have to hedge themselves by selling futures on, uh, on the board of trade. And so what happens is they hold these short positions and when wheat keeps going up, limit up every single day, they have huge margin calls they have to fulfill and they can only go so far before the banks will, will not, you know, their, their lines of credits are maxed out or um, it, it just creates a horrible situation for these elevators. So this led them to set basis at very unattractive levels. I heard some places were at two and a half uh, dollars a bushel less than the bid on the futures price. So, and then also some elevators would not buy uh, cash bushels at all. So um, just because of the volatility in the price of wheat. So we will continue monitoring this next week. Um, expect very volatile price 
especially in the wheat market if you do produce any wheat. Updates on crop insurance. So we finally have our spring price guarantees set. Uh, it's $5.90 per bushel for corn and $14.33 for soybeans. Those are up 29% and 22% respectively from last year. Premiums are higher slightly, um, but the revenue guarantees are tremendous this year. I really would not encourage, you know, getting scared of the premium to sacrifice revenue guarantees at these levels, especially with as high of input costs we have and how volatile these grain markets are. Uh, subsidies towards our premium from the government have been very good as well. Um, in some cases, the subsidy has been higher than the uh, estimated producer premium per acre. So, you know, the government is pitching in on these insurance coverages, you know, take advantage of that at these record high guarantees. March 15th is a deadline to make any changes to your policy or to uh, switch to another agent. Uh, so if, if you want us to review your coverages you currently have, we'd be more than happy to do that, um, but it would have to be done before March 15th. We want to thank you for your business. Uh, have a great weekend. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to Larry, Susan, or I. Thank you.